And now recapping some of our top stories. More than 30 people have died as a result of illness attributed to vaping products. While health experts are working to determine the cause of the illnesses, a New Jersey lawmaker is calling for changes at the federal level. Bert St. Pierre brings us the latest. What has caused nearly 1,500 people nationwide to suffer from lung illnesses associated with electronic cigarettes and vaping products? That's the question medical experts are trying to answer. According to the latest data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 1,479 people have fallen ill after using these products and 33 people have died. While no single ingredient, e-cigarette, or vaping device has been linked to the illnesses, doctors do know how the potentially deadly products are negatively impacted impacting smokers. Dr. Kishore Ratkalkar of Raritan Bay Medical Center says side effects include lung damage and heavy metal poisoning. It's an aerosolized delivery system, whether it comes in pods, which is pre-filled, or comes in non. But all of it has ultra-fine particles that go into the lungs. They have all these flavorants, as we talked about, which really cause serious lung damage. In New Jersey, one person has died, and there are 20 confirmed cases of lung illnesses related to vaping. The health department is investigating another 35 possible cases. Earlier this month, a state task force announced their findings after examining the countrywide outbreak. Acting Health Commissioner Judith Persichilli is the chairperson of the task force and says there are several steps the state can take to help reverse this deadly trend. Considering a ban of flavored electronic smoking devices and products, increasing penalties for unauthorized sales, restricting online sales, increasing compliance buys. While health experts are continuing their research into the harmful side effects of these cigarettes and vaping products, New Jersey Congressman Frank Pallone has introduced legislation on the federal level that he says will address the epidemic. Basically what we're saying is the flavored products, right, they should be banned completely, right? In addition to banning flavored tobacco products, including menthol, the proposed legislation would also raise the minimum age for purchasing tobacco products to 21 years and prohibit non-face-to-face -face sales of tobacco products. 55 years ago, literally 55 years ago, the Surgeon General warned of the dangers of health effects of smoking cigarettes, and it's now five decades later, and smoking still remains the leading cause of preventable death. Late last week, Juul announced they would no longer sell flavored products except for mint and menthol. A recently released poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation says 52% of adults support banning the sale of flavored e-cigarettes. Reporting in Perthamboy,